How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebook.com and in this video we're doing a speed comparison test between iOS and Android's flagship tablets. On the left you have the Asus Nexus 7 tablet from Google and on the right of course you have the iPad the third generation in this case. So let's go ahead and start our speed comparison test. We're going to do the boot up test first so find the power button. So I'll press them at the same time. So one, two, three. Hold them for about three seconds each. And there you go. Set these guys down and uh, while they're loading, let you know they're both on the same Wi-Fi network and browsing history has been wiped on both browsers because I am going to be doing a browser test. I'm also going to be doing app speed comparison tests, but kind of hard to do or kind of hard to find apps that are similar because not only are they different OS's, but they're also, you know, the, the iPad apps are different where on the Nexus 7, the apps are basically the same thing as you'd get on a phone. So over here, you can see the iPad has finished much like maybe five seconds before the Nexus 7 tablet did. So obviously the boot up test win goes to the iPad. Um, keep in mind that the Nexus 7 tablet is a $200 tablet. The iPad over here, the third generation is a $500 tablet. This guy has a Nvidia quad core processor at 1.3 gigahertz with a 12 core GPU. And this guy has a dual core A5X one gigahertz processor or with dual core processor with a quad core GPU. So keep that in mind. Now I'm not going to be comparing the devices here. I'm just going to be doing strictly speed. So I'm not, you know, considering the price. I'm not considering the resolution, etc. I just want to see, you know, which device is going to give you the fastest experience. So with that said, let's go ahead and start our application speed test. First application I'm going to run is Temple Run. So I'll go ahead and do that. So one, two, three. And we'll see which one actually loads the game up first. So the iPad actually loaded it up first, followed by Android's Nexus 7. We'll go ahead and close out. Now I'm actually going to close out the applications here because I am, you know, testing different OSs and, you know, the iPad won't actually multitask where the Nexus 7 will. It's not going to be fair if I don't do that. So anyway, let's go to the next app, which will be Maps. So one, two, three. And again, opened up faster on the iPad. Again, I'll just swipe this guy off, which typically closes it, not always, but should do the job here. Uh, we'll go to Google Earth. So one, two, three. So we're doing two Google apps back to back. This time, the Nexus 7 actually opened Google Earth up first. So finally, you know, wins one of its uh, home court advantage apps. Close this guy out here. We'll swipe it out here. And uh, lastly, we'll open up Flickster. Now Flickster, they're both the tablet versions, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and open it up. One, two, three. And uh, that one was really close. I mean, I couldn't really tell. Uh, I know that the left side loaded up first on the Nexus 7 tablet. And I don't know, it's loaded up first on the iPad, but the content seemed to load up first on the Nexus 7. So I'll call it a tie, but maybe if I give it a win, I'd, I'd say the Nexus 7. Not really sure. Um, you guys could be the judge of that one. Let's go ahead and close this out. But now let's get to the test that really matters. I mean, the boot up and the app speed test. The apps are different, r differently written, so it's not that big of a deal. But the browsing test is where it's really going to make a difference because, you know, the internet, you connect to it all the same. So let's go ahead and go to a few websites. First website we'll go to, of course, is phonebuff.com. All right, so I went ahead and typed in phonebuff.com on both. I'm going to hit go at the same time. So one, two, three. And let's see which one actually loads up first. So it looks like the iPad is actually done now and this guy's still loading. And you know, you can kind of tell from the uh, beginning that the iPad had a bit of a head start on the uh, rendering of the web page compared to the next seven. Let's go ahead and open up this application right over here or this uh, web page right here. So I'm gonna tap at the same time. And we're seeing the content much faster here. Got the pictures, got the ads. Now this guy's done. So again, the win goes to the iPad. All right, so let's go ahead and load up another website. We'll go ahead and go to Engadget. So one, two, three. Again, we're seeing the content first on the iPad. Now, just to note, I did turn off the uh, preloading, you know, rendering on the Google Chrome browser because it does load up, you know, things before I actually hit enter. So the uh, iPad is done. Yeah, it loads up things before I hit enter. If I leave that option, I turned it off to make it fair. And again, you know, we got the win for the iPad. Now let's just do a scrolling test. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. You guys can see, you know, no little check bar check boards. 
Um, everything is super, super smooth and uh, you know, zooming in and out is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and try the same thing on the Nexus 7. Go over, now you can see, see like it just went all white. So it wasn't, it's not necessarily load rendering the whole web page the way you know, you'd expect it to. Um, you know, even when I go back up, it already loaded that part and it's all white. So now it seems like it's doing okay. Um, and let's go ahead and do the uh, pinch to, to zoom test. And the pinch to zoom is super, super smooth. So basically the main difference is, you know, the browser actually loads up faster on the iPad, but also, you know, when you scroll down, you're gonna get, you know, white, you know, white uh, page basically on the Nexus 7 where you're not gonna get that on the iPad. So you're gonna get more of a desktop experience on the iPad. So anyway, that's the short, you know, speed comparison test. Obviously, the iPad won um, in pretty much every category. The only, you know, win that really went to the Nexus 7 was Google Earth. And um, it's not that big of a deal, obviously. You're paying $200 here, paying $500 over here. So, you know, keep that in mind. You know, is that speed difference worth $300 to you? Um, or maybe there's some other things like the higher resolution screen. But Whatever it is, just wanted to do this video for you guys so you guys could actually know what the difference is. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.